it's coffee time. Do you like my new mug that you can't see very well because of the reflection? Wait a minute. Okay. See, it's a Hannibal mug. It's got Will Graham. And then it's got Mads Mickelson all stagified with his little antlers. And then it says, this is my design. But I don't think you can read that at all. <laughs> God, it's so reflective. I did not realize. But you can kind of see it, right? I'm in love with it. I got it on Society6 because they're do. Uh, I don't know if they're still doing it. Wait a minute. Society6. They are. Okay. So for like this whole week so far, they've been doing free worldwide shipping and $5 off each item. I swear they're not telling me to say this. <laughs> I just love Society6 because it's turned into this great hub for all of this kind of beautiful fan art. Just really incredible stuff shows up on there and and mixed among it is just really weird but also beautiful artwork. So I love going on there because it's another one of those sites where it's like, hey, here's all of your favorite art pieces. You, you could get it as a mug. You can get it as an apron. You can get it on your grandma. There are just so many options, but most of the time, those options turn out real bad, right? Like you order the shirt and the shirt looks like it was just ironed on and you're like, I could have done this at home. But I was really excited because I got a couple mugs. I got Sam a frozen mug and I got me this mug. I'm so in love with it. I was like, I need a Hannibal mug. And I saw this one and I got really excited. But I was worried that the mugs were going to turn out to be really poor quality. They're not. They're awesome. So any of you who saw my tweets and took advantage of this, you're going to get dope mugs. Like, they're, re they're just really nice and reflective. They're really nice and reflective. And what more can you ask out of a mug? I actually, I actually bought more than just these two mugs. Don't tell Sam. I actually bought more than just these two mugs because I've realized mugs are so much a part of me now. What are you doing? Anyway, sorry, we were talking about serious stuff. I've realized that mugs are such a part of me that it's really the perfect gift for me to give people. So when I was going through there, I mean, $5 off each, I free shit, like, come on. I was going through here and I kept seeing mugs and thinking that would be perfect for so-and-so. So I actually bought like th three more mugs that haven't shown up yet. But man, this is still going on. Maybe I should, maybe I should take another look through the mugs. Maybe I should look through these again. But I'm just glad that Sam liked his frozen mug. He was so happy. He was like, oh my gosh. He was like rubbing his face on it. We were both having a moment. We were both just kind of cuddling our mugs. And then I was like, okay, we need to actually get to work. Because you might notice Sam's desk is gone because he's finally been able to move into his place. Which is great because both of us working in the living room has turned the living room into just like the most multi-purpose area <laughs> Which is not supposed to be because, you know, Sam and I both, we both work from home for the most part. So it turns into this situation where like we kind of have to work around each other, which is fine. We can do that. But that's always, this has always been the plan that he was going to come stay with me for a little while until he was able to get into his own place. And then once he was able to get into his own place, we'd both have places that we can work. And then we'd be able to, you know, hang out and actually spend time together and not, not be tripping over one another work-wise. So for any of you who have been sending me lots of messages being like, isn't this a step backward? I'm very worried about your relationship. Maybe you guys should talk about it as though we're in a tabloid. Don't worry. Everything is going perfectly according to plan and we are having a wonderful loving relationship that has not changed in the slightest. <laughs> so don't worry. Everything's fine. The boat isn't sinking. The ship is sailing. The ship is sailing, guys. Strip bonus lives. <laughs> Strip dripping. Strip, strip, strip a bonus. Stripping bonus. I don't know. What I do know is, I love this mug. I'm so happy. Because I was thinking to myself, what fandoms are not represented in my mug cabinet? Do you like how I t started off talking about mugs and then talked about, like, my, my relationship in serious terms and then got back on to talking about mugs? So I'm really excited because with Society6, again... You can go on there and pretty much search like any any sort of fandom and wind up finding something beautifully made in that fandom. What are you playing with? It's a battery? You're not supposed to have batteries? What you doing? I feel like there was a story, a cat story that I wanted to tell you guys. And now I can't remember it. Was there a cat story? Man, guys, I'm almost done with Danganronpa. I'm like positive. I'm positive now. Before, it was just a hunch 
but now I'm positive. Although I will say, again, I've said this many times, but nothing's, nothing's different from the anime so far. You could just get more. You just get more out of it. So I'm wondering if the end is just going to be like more, right? Which I'm fine with because the ending was very, hey, it's the end. But it's been really fun. I think that I'm okay with the way that the story has progressed more in the game than in the anime, even though they're the same. I'm more okay with it in the game because I've made those choices and experienced those things. Whereas with the anime, it's just happening and it feels a little bit rushed. It doesn't feel that way in the game at all. I must be like, I must be at least 25 hours in at this point. Like it's, it doesn't feel rushed. <laughs> it's feel, it, it's felt like a lot, a lot has gone on, you know, man, I cannot remember the cat story. Although I will say when we were moving all of Sam's stuff in, I kept leaving the house because he's living with a bunch of roommates. He's actually living with our friend Isaac. But um, so when I walked out of the house, I was hearing meows and there are two cats that live in that house. So I was like, is this did one of the cats get out while we were taking stuff in? And so Jeannie and I were out there with like our little flashlights on our phones, just like, is there a cat? in there because it sounded like there were cats just in the bushes just hanging out in the bushes and I was like maybe they're birds maybe they're in bird's nest maybe they're birds and she was like they don't sound like birds they sound like cats and I kept hearing all these sounds as though there were just just minions just millions of cats just sitting in these bushes it was the strangest thing and now I sound like a crazy person but I, sw I swear there were cat noises man it's an intense evening. I'm also getting really sick. I'm worried that I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning. I I seem lively. I seem lively right now. But I'm really worried that I'm getting sick. Because last night, I had the sore throat. Today, I've had the sore throat all day. It's gotten progressively worse and worse and worse. But typically, the nighttime is when it's awful, right? And so now I'm worried that I'm going to wake up tomorrow with a full-blown cold. Which is going to suck. Because again, I'm supposed to be going to my parents' place on Friday. Which sucks. So that means that I'm supposed to be making all of the videos for the weekend while I'm gone. So like I'm supposed to make Q&A, news, and then any gameplay. Um, supposed to make all of that stuff ahead of time. And I might not be able to. <laughs> because... If I'm if I'm really sick, I'm gonna need to rest tomorrow. But I'm hoping I'm hoping I'll feel good enough that I can just get all of the recording done. Like that would be nice. Maybe I can get it done early, and that way I can just relax the rest of the day. You know? Oh well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I'm just hoping. Fingers crossed. Cause I want to be able to I want to be able to really you know have fun with my parents because I haven't seen them in a while. Although I see them more often now. I see them way more often now that they mostly live in California. They argue that they don't. You do. Mommy, Daddy, you totally do. You live here more than you live in Oregon now. Come to terms. You gotta come to terms with it. I do like being in the desert a lot, though. So I'm excited to go back to the desert. I wonder if, I wonder if Sam has ever been to like a desert area. I don't know. I know he's been to China. He's been to Switzerland. I know he's been to France. I don't know. I don't know that he's. I don't know that he's been in like a desert place. I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna ask because I'm really curious to know now. I also just want to go through those mugs again. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so many cute mugs. There's like ones with like little cat faces all over the place. There's so many cat mugs, guys. If you want a cat mug, there's so many. They're all the Cheshire cat mugs with, like, just crazy smiles. All those. Um, if you search fox in the mugs, so many fox mugs. It took every ounce of my being. You don't even know. It took everything in me to not just be, like, buying all of them. Because that would be, that would be just an irresponsible use of my money. But, oh, my gosh, you guys. Ah. Uh so many i'm gonna close this tab because it's it's killing me inside oh yzma okay anyway 
Um, but yeah, that was my day. That was my day, guys. I hope you guys had an amazing day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Mwah.